Hello everyone, my name is Marisa and I'm going to do a tutorial today for the Potomac Bead Company and for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet that I'm calling my Diamonds on the Storm bracelet. So for today's tutorial, for today's project, you are going to need um, Storm Duos. These are Potomac Company, Potomac Bead Company's newest bead. These are exclusive to Potomac Bead Company so you can only get them with them along with the disc duos that are going to go here. So both of these beads, the Storm Duos and your disc duo, are Potomac Bead Company exclusive beads. So for each unit, you are going to need two, four, six, eight, eight Storm Duos and one disc duo. For the Storm Duos I'm going to use for this, the Storm Duos I'll use for this bracelet are the white baby blue luster. The disc duos I used for this bracelet is the Crystal Betrayal Matted Full. For this one, I believe I used the Crystal Slipper It Full Matted in the disc duos, and I used the Bronze uh, Storm Duo. You will also need some two hold diamond beads and you will need four per unit. And for the one I'm gonna demonstrate with you, I'm going to use the matte turquoise. You will also need some seed beads. You will need some 8-0s, some 11-0s, and some 15-0s. My 8-0s, I'm going to use the light yellow, the light yellow silver line dyed. I had a hard time reading that, but they're, these are my 8-0s. For my 11 I'm going to use a Toho, and they're the Metallic Warm Taupe. For my 15 I'm going to just use a Galvanized Yellow Gold, Yo Galvanized Yellow Gold, and they are Miyuki. Now, I did, I did use, on my 11 O's, Toho's. Oh, I'm also going to use the a, a cream color of 11 O's, so I'm going to use two 11 O's. Now my 11 O's are Toho, and both of these bracelets I use Toho, and I really like how they turned out. I haven't tried it using 11 O Miyuki's, but if you want your bracelet to look exactly like one of these two, I would recommend using Toho for your 11 O's. The 8 O's and the 15 O's are Miyuki. You will also need some rondelles, 2x3 rondelles, and I'm using uh, the Light Peridot. You will need a clasp. I'm going to use a cut button, and I'm going to use the Baby Blue Luster Cut Button. You will need one needle, so this is a one needle project, and a size 10 beading needle should work. And I'm going to use Wildfire Beading Thread in green, .006. You will also need some flat nose pliers and a scissors or a thread burner, something to cut your thread with. Now, I do recommend threading your needle with maybe four or four or five feet of thread. You are going to need to add a little bit more. So just start out with the, with the size, with the length that you're comfortable using. So go ahead and get your materials together and then we will get started. Okay, I got piles of all, of all my little beads, and you need to do that because we're going to use all of our beads. So, we're not going to go down the bracelet and then come back. We're just going to do a unit, move on to the next one. So by the time we do all our units, we will be done. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our clasp. In my case, it is a cut button. So I got my needle, re needle ready to go. I have about four feet. I am going to have to add thread, but <clears throat> I don't want to have a whole lot of thread on, on my needle right now. And besides, it's pretty easy to add thread. So ready to go. I'm going to go in through one hole of my cut button. I'm going to hold it. Then I'm going to just going to decorate the inside of my cut button with an 11 o an 8 o an 11 o and I'm going to go down the other hole of my cup button, just like that. Now I'm going to add three cup, but I mean three 11 O's. 
and uh, let me put a rondelle, three more elevenos. Now I'm going to circle around and go back up the hole of my cut button, the one that I started, the one that I first came out of. So this is what we have, this right here. And I'm going to reinforce all of these beads here at the top. And right now, since it's pretty loose here, it's easy to go in through this first 11 0 but normally you should try to catch it when you first stick your needle in there because, uh, like I said, right now since everything's loose, it's pretty easy to catch, but once everything gets tightened, you're not going to be able to do that. So just remember that. Okay, and I'm going to reinforce all of these all over again. I'm going to go through these three 11 O's, my cut button, and now this time I want to make sure I catch that 11 O because it wouldn't have been so easy this time to just <clears throat> go through it. And then I'm going to go through these two, and then if you can catch all of the, the three, good. And then go through your Ron Dell. Like that. So this is what we have. We have added our cut button and you should have your clasp and you should be coming out of your rondel. Now we're going to do a little unit, this little unit here with your 8-0s and your rondel. So I'm coming out of a rondel. I'm going to pick up an 8 get a rondel, pick up another 8 and I'm going to circle around and go through my rondel that I have here on my cut button. I'm going to pull and then go ahead and reinforce that little box again. And my fingers are probably in the way, but I'm just reinforcing, whoops, that little box that we have there. Got my thread kind of whack, all wacko. Okay. And then I'm going to go through this 8 here. And you need to be coming out of this rondelle. Not the one that's in between your 11 O's, The one that's your little lone rondelle over here. So now we're ready to start our first unit. So. <clears throat> Coming out of this rondelle, we are ready to pick up our storm duos. Now our storm duos need to lay like whoops, this. Ooh. Like that. With the courier side in. So, I am going to, well, first I need to go through one. So I'm coming out of this side of my, my rondelle like this. I'm going to pick up my Storm Duo <laughs> like this. This is how I'm picking up my Storm Duo, like that. I'm going to hop on up to the upper hole of my storm duel. So that's what I have. And now I'm going to pick up my other storm duel. And it needs to mirror the way that one is. So I'm going to pick it up. See that? Like that. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go down. Whoops. I skipped my little 11 0. 
I'm going to pick up a cream color 11 l and then I'm going to pick up my Storm Duel. Okay. And then now I'm going to hop on over to the bottom hole of my Storm Duel here. I'm going to go through the rondelle here. And then I'm going to come out of this Storm Duel. So this is what you should have. This is exactly what you should have. Now once again, we're going to hop on over to the top part, top hole of our Storm Duo, and we need to be coming out of this Storm Duo here. Now we're ready to add the rest of our little unit. And now we're going to pick up <clears throat> our two hole diamond our little storm duo um our little storm duo unit mini unit i guess and again we're picking it up like this with the storm duo 110 storm duo let me put it down storm duo 110 storm duo another two hole diamond and <laughs> Another succession of Storm Duo 11 0 Storm Duo, another two hole diamond, and then Storm. I'm going to show you all of this as soon as I finish, as soon as I have all my beads on. I'm going to show you what you should have. Okay, so this is what you should have on your needle. You should begin with a two hole diamond and end with a two hole diamond and you need to have three more of these little pairs with uh, two storm duos like this with um, a little 11 0 in between them so this is what you should have and then circle around and go through this little grouping here that you already have and pull. So you have your little unit here. Okay? So now from here go ahead and go through all of these beads again just to reinforce. So that's all I'm going to do on this step. I'm going to go through all of these beads and make sure you get all of them, that you don't skip anything. And of course, before you start, make sure all of the holes of your storm duos and your diamond, two hole diamonds, are clear. Okay, when you get to this. 110 here in between your first grouping I will show you what to do okay next okay once you have reinforced all of these beads <clears throat> fix it to where you're coming out of this 110 right here okay and then so that's where I'm coming out of, and then add a 15-0, your disc duo, and a 15-0. So this is all I have, 11, um, I'm sorry, 15-0, disc duo, 15-0. And then I'm going to hop on over, no, I'm not going to hop on over. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to hop on over to my next 11-0 here, here. And I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to go through the Storm Duo next to it, the Two Hole Diamond next to it, and I am going to travel with my needle all the way until I'm coming out of this 11-0. Um, I just want to make sure I grabbed everything, yeah. So once I'm coming out of that 11 I'm going to pick up another 15 
I'm going to go back through my disc jewel and I'm going to pull. I'm going to pick up another 15 0 and I'm going to go through this 11 0, the one that I haven't one that I haven't messed with. I've messed with all of the 11 0s that are in between my storm duos. So except for this one, so now I'm going through it now. And then I'm going to come out whoop, of that of that two hole diamond. And once I'm doing that, I'm going to hop on over. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and go through the 11 through through all of these. And I want to come out of this two hole diamond here. The one after our uh, if it'll let me. And I have cream on my hands, so that's kind of I'm just going to go at it one at a time, I guess. All right, coming out here. Now I'm going to go through this storm duo. And then I'm going to, ouch, then I'm going to go through this two hole diamond. So my disc duo is in place. I'm coming out of this two hole diamond and I'm going to hop on over to the other hole. Now here, once you're coming out of your two hole diamond, pick up an 11 0, a 15 0, go through your storm duo, go through these, this grouping here of your storm duo rondel and storm duo. And then once you're coming out of there and you're, you're coming out of your grouping here of storm duos, pick up a 15-0 and an 11-0 and go through your next two hole diamond. Pick up an 11-0 and a 15-0 and then go through your next storm duo. Now here you have two little storm duos with kind of sitting there like that, right? So pick up a rondelle, go through your other storm duo, pull. Now I'm coming out of this storm duo. I'm going to pick up a 15-0 an 11 0 go through my two hole diamond and then an e another 11 0 a 15 0 go through my first storm duo here in this next grouping gonna pick up a rondelle and I'm gonna go through my next storm duo Now I'm coming out of, of my storm duo there. I'm going to pick up the 15 0 and 11 0, and I'm going to go through this two hole diamond. Whoops. Pick up, pick up uh, an 11 0 and a 15 0. Go through this storm duo here. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. Pick up a rondelle, go through the next storm duo of that grouping, and then we're back here coming out of that storm duo. I'm going to pick up a 15 0 and an 11 0. And now I'm going to sew all the way around this unit again completely. 
and then one more time halfway so that I'm coming out of this rondelle here. So go ahead and do that. That way you reinforce and you have more than one string um, in this little unit. So go again, you're coming out of here where you should be. Sew through all of these again and then halfway again through the unit until you're coming out of this rondelle. And then we're going to do this little box again. And I'll go ahead and meet you back. Okay, so I went ahead and I went around. Remember I said to go around your unit and then go one more time halfway through till you're coming out of your rondelle? Okay, so this is what you should have. And your unit might cup just a little. So that's fine. And it's nice and sturdy. It's not all, you know, flippy, floppy. This one, I didn't do that. So this one lays flat because I did not reinforce it. But I don't really like how it feels because it doesn't feel as strong as this one. So I'm actually going to reinforce this one. And I know by the time I'm done, it's going to cup because I already did that with another one. So it is going to end up cupping and um, it'll look like this one. So yeah. Okay, so I'm coming out of this rondelle here. And I'm going to show you again how to do this part and to do the whole unit again. Pick up a 8 a rondelle and an 8 And I'm thinking that if you don't have rondelles, you can probably just use all 8 Even where you where I have rondelles, you can probably just use 8 for that too. Okay, so go in through this rondelle, only the rondelle. Come out and reinforce this area, these little beads again. Okay, now you're going through this one. Now I'm going to go all the way around till I'm coming out of this rondelle here. And right now it's going to look, you know, pretty weird until, until I tighten it up. So, got my 8 here that I'm going through. Whoop. And I'm going to be coming out of this rondelle. And we're going to add our first of our pair of Storm Duos for this one. Okay, so I need to add my Storm Duo like this. Like that. See how I have the curvier side and I'm going through the curvier side? Okay, just let it drop and then I'm going to come up to the second hole of my Storm Duo. And then I'm going to pick up a 11 0, my cream color 11 0. And I'm going to pick up a Storm Duo like this. So I'm just going to mirror the other one that I have on. So this is how I have it on my needle 11 0 Storm Duo. And then once I let that drop over here, I'm going to go into the other hole of this Storm Duo. I'm going to go into this rondelle here and I'm going to come out of this Storm Duo here. The first one that I put for this new unit that we're making. And pull. And this is what we have. And then I need to hop over to this hole, go through this 11 and come out of this Storm Duo here. So I need to come out at the end of my unit. And it is easier to do this with a size 10 needle, I gotta say. All right, so now we're gonna pick up our little groupings again. We need to begin with the two hole diamond and then pick up our little groupings of Storm Duo 11 Storm Duo. Two hole diamond, storm duo, eleven o, storm duo, two hole diamond, 
Storm Duo 11O. And Storm Duo. And end with a two hole diamond. Okay. So begin with a two hole diamond, end with a two hole diamond, and make sure in between you have Storm Duo 110 Storm Duo, another two hole diamond, Storm Duo 110 Storm Duo, another two hole diamond, Storm Duo 110 Storm Duo, ending with a two hole diamond. So that's what you got. Let them drop and then go down this that you already have here and then reinforce all of this again and then I will come back and show you how to do your, your disc duel again okay so I reinforced all of these that I just added and I'm coming out of this 11-0 here, and it's easier if you do it that way because it's easier to keep track. Well, for me it is. Okay, so I'm coming out of this 11-0 here. I'm going to add a 15-0 uh, disc duo and a 15-0. Then I'm going to hop on over to this 11-0 right here. The next, in other words, the next 11-0 in line. So, and then I'm going to sew through the Storm Duo next to it. And I'm going to sew through the two hole diamond next to that, the Storm Duo after that, and I'm gonna come out of the next 11-0, and I'm gonna pull. And then I'm going to get another 15-0, and I'm gonna go through my Disc Duo again. And I'm going to pick up another 15-0. And I'm going to go through my next 11-0 in line, which is this one. And I'm going to sew through these beads. Once I go through that 11-0. And I'm going to come out of this two-hole diamond. But I'm going to sew through all of them to get to that one. So here I am and I'm just pulling and sewing. Okay, I'm coming out and I made my way to that two hole diamond. Pull. That will put your disc to one place and then hop on over to the other hole of your two hole diamond. Now here, whenever you're coming out of a two hole diamond or what you're going to have on the outside of or next to your two hole diamonds are going to be your 11 O's. See how I have how e on each of my two hole diamonds um, they are my two hole diamonds are in between two 11 O's. So I'm coming out of a two hole diamond I'm going to pick up an 11 O then a 15 O and I'm going to sew through this Storm Duo and through this rondelle next to it because remember that one should have a rondelle. That's the only grouping that's going to have a rondelle. In between our other groupings of Storm Duos, we are going to have to add a rondelle. So I'm coming out of this Storm Duo. I'm going to get an 11 uh, no, a 15 and 11 and then I'm going to go through two hole diamond here. Coming out of my two hole diamond, I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and a 15 0. Go through this storm duo. Gonna pick up a rondelle. Go through this storm duo here. And I'm noticing that this polish looks really yucky on camera. You know, in person, it's a, it's a really pretty polish. It's like a salmon pink and I love that color. But when I when I play these videos back to look at them, uh, I'm not crazy about how it comes out on, on camera. So if my polish looks like pink highlighter, I apologize. So coming out of this two hole diamond, I'm picking up an 11 on a 15 oh Going through that storm duo. In between your storm duos again goes a rondelle. 
So here goes a rondelle. And then out of my storm dough goes a 15 0 and an 11 0. Go through the two hole diamond. Out of my two hole diamond goes an 11 0 and a 15 0. Go through the storm duo. And then our last rondelle for this little unit. So rondelle goes in here. I like these colors together. They're so they're so bright and springy. 15-0. 11 0 and here we are back where we started so I've already added all of my beads that go on the outside I'm going to sew through all of these again uh, everything that I've just added plus the these outer holes here of my existing storm dose and stuff and my two hole diamonds so I'm going to sew once and then halfway through the unit again to where I'm coming out of this rondelle and again I'm gonna make this little box in the center so I can make my next unit so go ahead and do that and do as many units as you need for your wrist and um, but just remember you have your clasp so yeah go ahead and finish this and then I will meet you back and we will make our loop okay so now I did all the units. Now when you end, you want to make sure that you end at one of your little connecting units like this, which is one which is one of your little box units of your that consist of your rondelles and your eightos. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six units, and this is good for my wrist. So now Go ahead and make your last little box unit, reinforce it, and then thread to where you're coming out of this rondelle here. And then I need to pick up, and I already have them, my 11 O's to make my loop for my cut button. So whatever kind of clasp you have, go ahead and put that on now. And I'm just going to test it to see if it's big enough for my button. And it is. So now I'm going to reinforce by going through all of my beads here. And this is not the most exciting part, but well, it's something that's got to be done. So I'm just going to quickly do this. I'm just going to do this as quick as I can. And this is already two strings and I'm going to do it one more time. I like to have at least three strings in my little clasp and also in the loop. So this was a fairly easy bracelet. It's not hard and um, it's really cute. You have a really good, you have a really good um, project uh, piece at the end. And it's one needle, which I know a lot of people prefer. They don't like um, messing with two or... <clears throat> okay. So, now I'm just going to... I'm coming out here. This rondelle. I'm going to tie a knot here in between this rondelle and the Edo. So that I can just bring my knot into this Edo here and I hope I'm in frame yeah I am kind of and I'm gonna do another knot here between the 80 and this rondelle here okay and then I'm going to bring my needle in through this rondelle here and now I'm going to burn it off so this is what we have. Get all this out of the way. Here's the one I just did with you. 
and here's the other one I had done before. Off camera, I went ahead and I reinforced this one as well, so it feels much better. I reinforced the outside. I didn't reinforce in here, so that's why it lays a bit flatter. This one kind of, let me turn it to the side, kind of cups just a tad, not a whole lot. This one doesn't cup at all. So this one's flatter, but they both look nice. So this is what you got. I hope you like it. And let me try it on for you really quick so you can see how it looks on. And this is what we got. Really cute, really cute little, little bracelet we got here. Okay, so this is the end of our, this is the end of my video. And um, I hope you enjoy making this and thank you very much for watching.